Hey everyone, it's Sarah from the South Boston Club. Today we're going to be making some pickled vegetables. Aside from being one of my favorite snacks, pickles are a really great thing to make this time of year, and especially as we head into summer, because it allows us to take some of the wonderful produce that grows in Massachusetts in the spring and in the summer and preserve it for the rest of the year. Let's head into the kitchen. The first thing we're gonna need to make our pickles is a vessel to pickle in. I'm going to be using a mason jar like this, but if you want, you could also use an old tomato sauce jar or even a deli container. Today, I'm gonna to be using onions and carrots because it's what I have in my fridge, but there are so many other vegetables that would be great to pickle. The pickle are cucumbers, beets, radishes, turnips, hot peppers, green beans, or cauliflower. You can really use any vegetables you like. The next thing we're going to need for our pickles is our seasonings. Today for seasoning, I'm going to use coriander seed, black peppercorns, and sliced garlic. There are lots of other great ways to season your pickles as well. You can use freshly sliced ginger or, or hot chili peppers. You can use some fresh herbs like dill wheat, or you can use any spices that you like, like crushed red chili flakes, mustard seeds, allspice, dill seeds, or even turmeric to make it yellow. Finally, we have the most important ingredients in our pickles, sea salt and water to make a brine. First, we're gonna make the brine. For the brine, we're gonna use a ratio of one tablespoon of salt to two cups of water. So we're gonna start by putting our one tablespoon of salt into our measuring cup. Then I have a little trick to dissolve the salt into the water. Because salt doesn't dissolve into cold water, I like to add a little bit of boiling water to our salt, mix it up with our spoon until it's dissolved, then fill the, the cup the rest of the way up with cold water so that the brine remains room temperature. Depending on the size of your jar, you might need more or less brine than this. If you need more, make sure that you exactly double the ratio and use four cups of water and two tablespoons of salt. Next, we're gonna slice up our vegetables for our pickles. What's important to remember is that larger vegetables take longer time to pickle. So we wanna try and best to have all of our vegetables be the same size. I'm gonna slice mine into medium sized slices, but if you'd like, you can also cut it into matchsticks or you can even grate it. I'm gonna start with my carrot. Then I'm gonna do my onion. I'm only gonna need half of my onion. I'm gonna take this end off, peel the skin off, and make slices that are about the same width as the slices of carrot. Now it's time to layer everything into our jar. First, I'm gonna add some of the carrots. Then I'm gonna add some of the onions. Then I'm gonna add some of the seasoning. So we have our garlic, our coriander seed, and our peppercorns. Then I'm gonna add the rest of my vegetables. As many as I can fit in the jar. And more of my seasonings. You can add however much of each thing that you wanna eat in your pickles. Finally, I'm gonna pour my brine on top. What's very important is that everything is submerged in the brine. If things are not submerged, it might cause the things that are showing at the top to get moldy. Now that everything's covered, all that's left to do is put our cap on and wait. If you want, you can use 
tape and Sharpies to make a label for your pickles. Try and think about what your pickle, pickle company would be called and what type of decorations you would want to have on your pickles. Mine is called Sarah's Superb Snacks. Your pickles will take anywhere from three days to up to two weeks to pickle, depending on what vegetables you use, the temperature of your kitchen, and how pickled you like your pickles. What I would suggest is after the first few days, checking your pickles every one or two days and seeing how the pickling process is going. You might start to see small bubbles forming when you open your jar of pickles. That's a great sign. That means that the pickling is in action. You can start to taste your pickles, and once they're the right level of pickled for you, you can put them in your fridge and keep them for many, many months. Enjoy your new jar of pickles!